More initiates. Hmm. The compound's getting less secure all the time. Still, I suppose the Master knows what he's doing. And if you can follow the ways of Revan, we'll judge your worth. I'm not interested in being judged by my inferiors. Until you've proven yourself, you're nothing here. Remember that. Revan didn't work alone. Revan had allies, all walks of life. We're no different. You want to join us? You need to face the men and women who got here first and who've proved that they're loyal to the Master. Doesn't seem worth the bother. Then maybe we shouldn't bother with you at all. You need to show those in the Master's inner circle that you understand Revan's teachings. They'll ask questions. You'll answer. If they're not satisfied, they'll abandon the test of wisdom and begin your test of strength. Revan didn't suffer the weak. From what I've seen, weakness prevails among the Revanites. Then it's time you saw something more. Your pilgrimage starts in the jungle. You'll find your first guide there. He'll determine whether you're worth sending on to the rest. Be ready for anything, Initiate. The jungle's dangerous, and so are the true Revanites. So, you have come. You who would join the Order of Revan. I am Moron Dokas, Lord of Beasts. I am Revanite, and I am Sith. What do you say to me? What do you expect me to say? I'm very impressed. I do not need your praise, Initiate. For decades I have served the Master. He found me when I was a lava and saw that I was strong in the Force. Against the Empire's traditions he trained me. This is the way of Revan, to teach all species the path to power. What's your point exactly? It is something you must consider if you are to be a Revanite. It will shape you, change you. Now you will answer a question. And you will answer well, or face the claws of my pets. Why do you think Revan trained aliens in the ways of the Sith? Why did Revan offer power to all Seekers? He believed everyone should have the chance to aspire to power. Your answer is not my answer, but it is sufficient. It is worthy of a Revanite. You may proceed on your pilgrimage and seek worth in the eyes of another. Who should I be looking for? A Revanite. A great warrior, and a favored student of the Master. Seek the mercenary called Setafar as she teaches her soldiers. Then shall your trial continue. Tarkin, have some of the men head into the city. They've earned a break from training. Yes, Commander. It's good to see you alive. Not everyone makes it past Morin. Raymond contacted me from the base. Said you wanted to join our society. Is it true? Depends who I'm talking to. I'm called Setafar. I teach these mercenaries how to fight. My service to the Master is a matter of honor. Centuries ago, my clan fought Revan when we invaded the Republic with the rest of the Mandalorians. It was our privilege to battle Jedi. We lost the war over Malkor V, but that was a privilege too. It's out of respect for Revan that I agreed to join the Master. You really are an idiot. I'm bound by blood and honor. That's the Mandalorian way. I serve the order to ensure Revan's name isn't forgotten. Revan was a warrior, a leader, and deserves to be remembered. Since you're not bound by honor, how do I know you won't sully the Dark Lord's memory? What can you do for the order in Revan's name? I can fight. I'll battle the order's enemies wherever there's need. Good. But I need proof of that. I sent out a squad of clansmen to hunt the local wildlife. They're camped nearby. Defeat them, or get yourself killed. And don't worry. Talking here will make sure they know you're coming. Yes, Commander. Revan earned the respect of my grandfathers and grandmothers by defeating them in battle. Now you've earned mine. You're not Revan. Not yet, at least. But you're something. You've got my approval to join the Order. Are we finished, then? I'm finished. You're not. You'll need to talk to one more person before you head back to the compound. Find Major Pathel. He oversees security on the wall. Then he's about to meet the next great Revanite. Glory to Mandalore, and glory to our master. Come on over. There's nothing to trouble us here, and we can speak freely. I'm Major Pathel, at your service. It's always wonderful to meet new initiates. The Order of Revan needs all the dedicated young people it can get. 
You're awfully cheerful, aren't you? A necessary precondition of living on the wall, I think. To keep healthy out here, one needs spirit. I don't know how your other meetings went, but I like to conduct these interviews informally. No point making your life difficult, eh? Quite a few initiates, young officers, acolytes and the like, think our secret society will help them become morphs or dark lords. You're not like that, I presume? I intend to earn my rank, sir. I'm sure you do. And I'm sure you will. Not every initiate realizes that advancement in the Revenites does not guarantee advancement in the Empire, nor how dangerous being a Revenite really is. The Dark Council seeks to root us out. So, how do we respond? How do we answer the Empire's accusations of heresy? We move secretly. We manipulate those in power. Exactly. We work in the shadows to reform the Empire, but we don't betray its ideals. That's all I needed to make my judgment. I'm going to send a message to the compound. Raymond will be waiting for you. Does this mean my trial's done? Well, that's not for me to say, but I have a good feeling about you. Journey safely, and be proud to be a part of the Order of Revan. So you finished the pilgrimage. Not bad. I don't know what happened out there. It's none of my business. But the Inner Circle approves of your initiation. How often do initiates fail? Honestly? If you can survive the pilgrimage, you're probably a worthy initiate. But a lot of initiates don't survive at all. You did good in this trial. Now you'll have to find someone else to show you the next stage of the journey. If that's right, I have no more need for you. Good luck. Every step brings you closer to the Master. Well, you really made it, didn't you? I've been hearing a lot about your progress, hearing about your trials. Your initiation has not been an easy one. But you've met the challenge and showed you can walk Revan's path. Now you may undergo the final rite. It's about blasted time. This won't be a waste. This time, you're ready. The Master will complete your lessons, and you'll be welcomed as a full member of the Order of Revan. This is a great privilege. The Master reveals himself to no one outside the Order. I promise I won't abuse your trust. You may go to the Master in his chamber. He'll be waiting for you. Listen to him, obey him. Through the Master, you will know the path of Revan. You have died and been reborn. Stand before me now. You who have reclaimed the ancient past. Stand before me now. You who have demonstrated power and wisdom to my followers. Look upon the master of the Order of Revan. Are you too afraid to show your face? Silence! This is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey. You will walk the path of Revan forevermore. The enemies of the Order will force you to move in shadows. But we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge is over. Know me for who I am. How do I know this isn't another disguise? I have placed my trust in you. Place yours in me. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council prizes. You think a lot of yourself? You've seen the power of Revan's path, do you really still doubt? Revan came to Drummond Cass after being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our Order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. You're completely mad, aren't you? Could a mad woman have achieved so much power? Believe in me. Believe in the path of Revan. I have heard whispers in the Citadel. For decades, the Emperor has been in seclusion. The Dark Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away, seizing power for themselves. They seek to silence us because we know. They want to silence you because they think you're heretics. They do. But listing their many reasons for destroying us is pointless. I would ask for your help. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. 
Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revenite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. Feels like I'm back at Imperial Intelligence. From the start, I hoped your experience would prove useful. I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnas. Give it to Sandor. He'll believe you stole it from his master while among the Revenites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, though, when you've spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. But I thought I was part of the Order. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path of Revan on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong. Ah, the subtle, silent agent. I am sorry you had to see Sith so weak as the Revanites. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? It was a man. Couldn't learn his name, but he wore this amulet. Oh, perhaps that will be enough. A symbol of rank or affiliation or... This. I know this amulet. How did you obtain it? I don't need to tell you the story. You can figure it out. This is the amulet of my master, Darth Charnas, taken from the Order of Revan. Speak to no one of this. I will deal with my master myself. How do you plan to do that? It would harm you to know. What happens next must be swift and silent. Take your payment for my own keepings. It is all I can offer you without alerting Darth Charnas. Leave now. We cannot be seen together any longer, and I have much to do. May the Order of Revan soon be destroyed, along with all the enemies of the Empire. Yes. Death to all who oppose us. <laughs>